recently got a bunch of these LED filaments. There's some 100 mil ones, different colors. I think this might be a green one. There's blue and pink and uh, some yellow ones in there too. And yeah, today I'm gonna make a lamp. Okay, so I've set up a little test rig here. I've got a, a dimmer switch module that I bought for virtually nothing. And I've got the LED inside some tubing, which will help diffuse the light. And I'll be utilizing this tubing later in the build, I think. So it's just running off a five volt wall adapter. Yeah, you can see that it's also a nice light, dims well. I have added a little resistor that you can see here. It's a 10R resistor and just a small cap to help uh, buffer some of that power and just make it a bit smoother. I'm gonna build the lamp out of this copper tubing or is it, it's not copper at all brass but the good thing is fits really nicely in there and the LED will run down here and we'll have two of them on each side so what I want to do is make a u-shape out of the brass and then have two lights LEDs going through so that's my first try at making a u-shaped brass tube and what I did was I used these springs that I got so I bought these online thinking that would do the job and what you do is you, you thread the tube through there and then you, you're supposed to slowly bend it obviously it doesn't work that well um, what I found was that you need to heat the metal up and I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to discolor the uh, brass at all so I come up with another method well I went online and found another method and that's the sand method and I'll show you how I did that the first thing you got to do is had a length of rod just over 20 centimeters so I use these little wheel cutters work well so just keep on twisting that eventually it'll break off so we've got our piece of tubing that we're going to fill up with sand block the ends up and then we should better bend that I've got this cloth tape, which is really strong and will do the job. Cut a bit off. Like that. Just. It might be overkill, but it's better than it opening up. So that should be good. Now what we gotta do is put some sand down in here and I've got some sand here that I collected from the beach last time, it's pretty fine. And just add some tape. So I've got the tube set up in my vise and then I'll just pop that funnel in. And I'll put a little bit of tape on there just to hold it into place. And we'll just start doing that. This is just beach sand. Okay, so we've got both ends taped up. It's all full of sands, pretty tightly packed. Now it's time to bend it. Use one of these old weights that I've got. They're actually stamps that I purchased a while ago. And you can see the radius is pretty good there. Start to bend this around. And you can see already it's not kinking. What I do is I bend it in one spot, then I move it slightly, and I start to bend it in the next spot. Oh, without a bend. Shit. All right, that hasn't worked. We've got some kinks. So maybe there's not enough sand in there. Oh, we'll try it again. and see if we can go round two. Okay, round two.
still got a bit of, still got a bit to do. I'm getting there though. Very close. Another fact. I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. Next thing to do is just to mark and cut the excess tube off. So, next step is to, what is the next step? Cut some tubing, wire up the LEDs, I guess, and work out how I'm going to wire up the LEDs. It's gonna be fun as well. I've got an idea for that though. I'm gonna use this copper wire to wire the LEDs together. It's thin enough that it's not gonna get in the way Tiny bit of heat shrink to protect it. I'll add that. We'll add negative to here. It's only for a short period. They both work. Great. So, before I solder this on, I've got to thread this wire through. So, I'm going to desolder this. Thread this wire through the loop. So here it is. This is the main body of the lamp, done. I didn't bother filming it because it was a pain in the absolute ass to get this wired up and properly in place. It took me a few goes, but I managed to do it, um, so you can see the dimmer works. What I've been thinking is to have like a neck soldered here and these wires, these thin copper wires going through that, and I'll solder this in place. Now, this has got enamel on it, enamel burns, too much heat, and I've got to be really careful that I don't strip the enamel and then just short circuit everything. So, I could fuck it up here. I'm hoping I don't. I've got to be careful when I heat this up. I think that's good. I think that's good, I think I actually did it. Yeah, that's straight. I mean, can you see? That's straight there. I can't believe how straight that is. Happy with that. Oh, mama. I didn't stuff it. Oh, that's awesome. Shame it doesn't spin. I decided to make the base out of this 50 mil copper tube. I was going to go with a piece of wood, just a, maybe a wood block, and I was going to hollow it out and then stick the dimmer in there and the wires and everything, but it's a lot easier just using a hollowed out piece of pipe and it kind of matches the aesthetics, I reckon. So yeah, this is the final, I guess, cap, we'll call it, that will fit into here. Too bad.
it's a little bit of driftwood that I actually found recently down, down the beach. And I like the gray kind of worn look, flat matte look compared to the polished brass or copper. So I'm gonna leave that like that. Next thing to do is to add the electronics and uh, which is just the dimmer module and then put the, the lamp into the hole. I'll add a little super glue just around the inside there to keep it nice and safe. So the plan is to cut off one of the ends of this USB and use that to wire it up to the five, uh, five volt. And I'll strip it. I'll tin those and then we'll start putting the whole thing together. It's pretty good. I won't glue that in place until maybe the last minute. All right, so I've got everything wired up, got it plugged in to the wall. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm, fingers crossed this thing lights up. Oh yeah, baby, excellent. It's working as it should, it's dimming, turning off, lovely. That will be pretty stable once it's in place, once the pot's in place. I'll put a cable tie around this so it can't get pulled out. And the next step is to put this in place and actually think pretty close to being done. I went with a, a little silver pot in the end. I didn't have any brass ones, so I don't think it looks too bad. I might change it though at some stage, but it feels nice. It's the right height. And it looks cool. Yeah. We're gonna set it up inside and see what it looks like. It's a bit hard to see it in here. So here it is, the finished lamp. I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. It was a bit of an experiment, just kind of making things up as I go along, but those LED filaments are, are great to, to use in a project like this. I wonder what it looked like with maybe pink ones or green ones. It might be interesting to make another and just see what that looks like. But overall, yeah, I'm happy with this build and hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in making your own, I've done a instructable step-by-step -step guide. So Check out the link in the video. Um, it's got all the parts that you need to build one. It's a fun little project and yeah, it produces some lovely light. Thanks for checking it out and uh, we'll see you soon.